Hello, brilliant jewelry channel. Welcome to this new tutorial. Always making professional 3D jewelry in Blender. Today, we're going to make the tennis bracelet. Let's get started. Um, pen the diamond from the extra meshes or from your gemstone library. Make it four millimeters. Save and be happy. Go to top view, numpad seven, add mesh, circle, 80 vertices, radius 0.6. Grab it here, 1.6, 1.6. From view, move it up here. Go to edit mode, close with F, add modifier, solidify, thickness 4.2. Exit edit mode, add modifier bevel, add modifier mirror based on the gemstone on the X and Y axis. Call this prongs, save and be happy. Go to materials, new material, white, gold. Adjust the viewport color. Shade auto smooth. Go to front view, add mesh circle to the view, zero on Y, add modifier screw, axis object, the diamond, steps 80, normals, calculate order, material, white gold, precisely tweak the position here, make a copy, shift D on the Z axis, come here, go to edit mode, X rays, take these vertices. Delete vertices. Take the first and last vertex. Make the edge with F. Exit edit mode. Call this belt and the bottom one base. Save and be happy. Now put attention. Front view. Select everything. Make a copy shift D on the X axis to the right. 4.5 millimeters. Make a copy on the X axis to the left minus nine millimeters. We're going to create the connecting link. Now add mesh circle to the view. Radius 0.8. X-rays move here. Go to edit mode. Select the right side. Move it to the right here. Select everything with A. Extrude scale. Adapt the scale on the X-axis. Exit edit mode. Material white gold. Modifiers, add modifier, solidify, offset zero, adapt the thickness here, add modifier bevel, two segments, add modifier subdivision surface, level three, shade auto smooth. Go to edit mode, select everything, tweak the scale and position of the link like this. Exit edit mode, call this link 001. Save and be happy. Now we need to cut something. Add mesh cube. Location 3 millimeters. Scale on the Z axis for positioning purposes. Make a copy of the cube on the X axis. Minus 1.5 millimeters. See that we are exactly at the edge of the gemstones for positioning purposes. Now take this base, add modifier, boolean, difference fast from this cube. Now take that base, the original base also needs the boolean, difference fast from the other cube. Hide the cube for a second. Here we need a small tweak. Bring the cubes back. Select the cubes, individual origin, scale on the x-axis like this, 1.5. Hide the cubes. Shade auto smooth. Shade auto smooth. Save and be happy. Now we need a bridge to connect the links. Front view. Add mesh circle to the view. Zero on the y axis. Select the link and the base. Local view. Select the circle. X rays. Go to edit mode. Scale and adapt the position to the link. Close with F. Exit edit mode. Add modifier. Solidify. Offset zero. Tweak the thickness here. Material white gold. Shade auto smooth. Call this circle bridge. Hide the base. Go back to front view. Tweak the position of the bridge with more precision. Select the link. Go to edit mode. Select this inside part. Scale back the proportion on the x-axis to the circle. Give it a little gap for movement. Exit edit mode. General view. Now we need to position the bridge to the original base so we can complete the tennis bracelet link. Object set origin to geometry. Set to the exact closest location. Mine is 3.1. Now you need to do a little math. The position of the bridge is 3.1. The gemstone is 4 millimeters. So the edge of the stone here is at 2 millimeters. From that edge, the bridge is at 1.1 millimeters further. So the edge of the previous gemstone is 4.5. 
negative plus 2. That's 2.5 negative plus 1.1. That's minus 1.4. That's the exact position of minus 1.4 millimeters for the bridge. Let's make a copy of the bridge, move it here, minus 1.4 millimeters. Just understand that you need to find a way to position your original bridge with absolute precision, like this. Save and be happy. Now create a new collection. Call it Tennis Bracelet. Here we have the diamond, the belt, the base, the prongs, the link, and the bridge. Make a copy, shift D, bring it to the new collection. Hide the rest, convert to mesh, join. Call this Tennis Bracelet Link. 0.001. Now let's make the bracelet front view. So the bracelet size add mesh circle 320 vertices. The radius, the standard size for a tennis bracelet is seven inches. Seven multiplied by 25.4 millimeters. That's one inch. We have this. Now, obviously, we need to divide by 2 and we need to divide by pi, 3.1416. Um, here we are, center to the view. This is 7 inches bracelet size. Save and be happy. Now, take the link, move it to the size. To control A, all transforms. Add empty plane axis, center, call it bracelet maker select the link go to modifiers add modifier array from object offset bracelet maker take the bracelet maker start rotating x-rays find the proper angle now here we need to adapt the link go to edit mode now select the link with l and select the bridge with l do control i h now we can see the bridge and the link. Turn on proportional editing up there. Select this side. Start rotating to bend the link, maybe 11 degrees or whatever works for you. Now grab and tweak the link position here. Exit edit mode. Now let's start tweaking the count for the tennis bracelet. Now here anyway, we need a bracelet clasp. Leave this space open. Save and be happy. Now I create a new collection, call it clasp. Go to top view, add mesh, circle, 80 vertices, adapt the radius, go to edit mode, select this half, move it to the right, control I, invert the selection, move this here to the left, select these four vertices, subdivide two times, take these vertices, scale on the X axis, move it here to the left, delete the edges, Select this element, L, close it with F, control I, invert the selection, close with F. Make the gap very narrow here, select the right element with L, do a P separate selection, exit edit mode, save and be happy. Come roughly here, add modifier, solidify, tweak the height, 375 for me, add modifier bevel, shade, auto smooth, object, transfer, copy modifiers, Take the right side, the long side, make a copy, shift D, make it smaller, adapt the position, go to edit mode, select the left vertices, make it much longer. Take the right block, add modifier, boolean, fast difference from this cutter, you get a hollow space, make sure to be thick enough. Front view, x-rays, add mesh, plane to the view, go to edit mode, merge at center, come here to the left, extrude on the x-axis, extrude on the z-axis, 0.6, come here, extrude, rotate, extrude, rotate, extrude, tweak the angles and positions to keep the thickness, don't go too far on the left, add modifier, solidify, offset zero, tweak the width here, add modifier bevel, add modifier subdivision surface, three levels, maybe you want the bevel with two or more segments. If necessary, go to edit mode and add some loop cuts to get a smoother result. Depend on the quality you need, exit edit mode, 
save and be happy. Now take the right block, make a copy, shift D, remove the modifiers, go to edit mode, erase the ending, we're going to make the retainer wall, take these vertices, move them up here, extrude on the Z axis, here inside the metal, adapt the width into the metal here, exit edit mode, add modifier, solidify, 0.6, Hide this, hide that, take the clasp, put with it mode, adapt this position here, exit edit mode, take the retainer wall, put with it mode, now add mesh cube, come here and tweak it like this, take the long element, add modifier, boolean, difference fast from this cube, take the retainer wall, add modifier, boolean, fast difference from this cube, add mesh cube, a new one, make it fit here, Go to edit mode, go inside the clasp, adapt the position to not overcome the clasp. This is the push button. Let's make the top, add mesh, circle, center it. Go to edit mode, close, exit edit mode, add modifier, solidify, tweak the thickness, add modifier, bevel, shade, auto smooth. Check that you have enough height to push the button, exit edit mode. Make it thicker if you like. Now take the long side and the little wall, make a copy, shift D, convert to mesh, control J, join. Call this container, material, white gold. Hide the original, remove them from rendering. Bring the left side, take the clasp, the push button, make a copy, shift D, convert to mesh, control J, join. Call this clasp, material, white gold. This clasp is pretty simple. You can make many tweaks, but this is great for rendering. Save and be happy. Now we're going to make two different render presentations. Uh, file, save as, tennis bracelet, render. Now bring back the original tennis link. Select everything, cover to mesh, control J, join. Take the clasp, bring it here. Take the link, make a copy, shift D, P, separate selection. Bring it to a correct position. Take the tennis link, add modifier, array. Find the adequate distance from the seven inches bracelet. We know that we need 38 links. Count 38. Take the clasp, move it to the right. Select the entire straight bracelet, cover to mesh, control J, join. Add mesh plane, size 200. Create a new collection, tennis bracelet, render one. Move it to the collection, bring the bracelet to the origin. Do a control A, all transforms. Shift S, cursor to selected, add curve, busy curve, make it bigger. Now bring the camera to your favorite angle, I'll control to zero. I'm going to make a 4K render 200%. Take the busy curve, create a nice trajectory. Resolution 60, take the bracelet, add modifier, curve. Curve object is the busy curve. Tweak the curves to minimize the deformations and have a nice view of the bracelet. Readapt the camera position and angle as you wish. Add empty plane axis, call it doff. Put the doff in place, check the floor. Take the camera, depth of field, focus on the DOF, HDR, environment, open. I'm going to use a brown Photo Studio 0 to 4K AXR from Polyhaven. Now go to shading for the white gold, tweak the color, metallic 1, circular 1, roughness 0, 05. Add the bevel node to the normal, samples 16, radius 0 0.1. Add input texture coordinates to the normal, add vector mapping here in the middle, add texture Voronoi here. Now the diamond, full white, metallic zeros, specular 1, roughness 0, IOR 2.418, transmission 1, make a render preview, render preview. Tweak the different elements, I'm going to make my gold here. Take the scale of the Voronoi, here tweak the scale of the Voronoi, make it much smaller on one axis. Add vector bump before the bevel to the height, tweak the strength. Now take the floor, new material, add the ambient occlusion to the base color, distance 50, metallic 1 on the camera. Don't forget to adjust the strength of the depth of field. Also, you very probably want another light source. Add point light, bring it to the back, a huge power, use nodes with a lot of strength. This is exaggerated, but this will help us find the proper direction for the shadows. Make the light bigger to get smoother shadows. Tweak back the strength. On the floor, it's always a good idea to bring an image on the roughness. You can tweak the strength of the roughness with the brightness node. Plug it to normal, add vector bump to the height, 
Give me the strength. Keep working on the color. You can add an image texture on the factor of an HSV node to vary the color. Here for the typical Roland Garros red clay. Don't forget to save the image. RGB, no compression. Tennis bracelet render one. Save and be happy. Now as a bonus track, we're going to make a second render of the bracelet here. Take out each part of the clasp, out, P, separate selection. Put it in the proper position. Scale it if necessary. It's just for the render. Set the bracelet on the floor. Readapt the depth of field position and strength. Make a render preview. Tweak the camera, F12, render and be happy. This was the tennis bracelet tutorial. Have a nice day. Take care and see you soon.